Records and Information Security Administration notice. The O5 Council has approved for the SCP-6101 designation to be reserved for the exclusive use of the Department of Public Relations to aid in post-fail operations. Item number SCP-6101 Security Level 6 Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Thaumil Disruption Class Aki Risk Class Danger Special Containment Procedures SCP-6101 is too powerful to contain. He has to be left in the care of his family until the next time the Foundation should call upon him for assistance. Description SCP-6101 is the most powerful SCP. His name is Ethan Prosper. He is 9 years old at the time of writing. The full extent of SCP-6101's powers are unknown, but he has displayed capabilities such as flight, super strength, invisibility, and all the powers of the Marvel superheroes. He is anonymously brave and capable of doing anything he sets his mind to. SCP-6101 has two guns which he carries with him at all times. The guns which he has named Fear and Loathing shoot bullets made of pure light and darkness, respectively. His dog Heidi, sub-designated SCP-6101, is the second most powerful SCP. She is fiercely loyal to SCP-6101 and protects him from anomalous organizations who want to use his powers for themselves. Incident Log On May 18th, 2028, SCP Omega broke out of its cell in Site 301. Unable to re-establish containment of the anomaly, Site Director Hushpa Chakavati called upon SCP-6101 for assistance. SCP-6101 was then personally escorted to Site 301 by Mobile Task Force Site 301, Genie in a bottle from his room at St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. New a combination of telekinetic abilities and verbal threats, SCP-6101 successfully drove SCP Omega back into its containment cell as witnesses applauded and cheered. He was awarded a Foundation Star for his efforts by Director Takavati in the special ceremony shortly afterwards. In addition to saving the lives of everyone at Site 301, SCP-6101 became a hero to countless other critically ill children like himself after reports of his bravery on local news stations led to a surge in donations to the Make-A-Wish Foundation.